children how are you all welcome to your online classes children today we are going to revise lesson number 8 the nervous system we have already discussed this lesson today we are going to solve the questions based on what we have already discussed now children as we have already discussed this lesson you be ready with your answers before i tell you the correct answer let us see the questions the first question is choose the correct options the first one which kind of nerve carries the information from your eye to the brain the options are sensory nerves mixed nerves motor nerves so what is the correct answer children the correct answer is a sensory nerves sensory nerves carry messages from the sense organs to the brain and motor nerves carry messages rather orders from the brain or spinal cord to the sense organs so and this both these nerves carry messages in one direction only and mixed nerves do the function of both sensory and motor nerves now the next question is without the nervous system you cannot the options are c hear taste do any of these things so as we know that the sense organs do not work alone they work in coordination with the nervous system so the answer is d do any of these things without the nervous system we cannot see we cannot hear we cannot taste right so the answer is d the next question is which of these is not the part of brain the options are cerebrum spinal cord brain stem and cerebellum and the correct answer is what is the correct answer children the correct answer is b spinal cord spinal cord is not the part of the brain rest all cerebrum cerebellum and brain stem are the parts of brain right now the next question is which part of your brain helps in balancing your body and coordinating all your muscles the options are cerebrum brain stem cerebellum or spinal cord and the answer is what is the answer children the part of the brain that helps in balancing your body the answer is c cerebellum cerebellum helps in balancing and movement cerebrum is the thinking part of brain and brain stem is responsible for all your involuntary actions like breathing swallowing etc and spinal cord is not the part of the brain right the next one which of these sense organ helps you to tell the difference in sizes of objects now the options are tongue ear eye nose and which sense organ tells you about the difference in sizes of objects the answer is c i right the eye help us to see it help us to differentiate between the sizes of objects also it tells us how far or near an object is the next question is fill in the blanks the first one is the brain the dash and the dash make up the dash system now let us see the options blood blood vessels circulatory system small and large intestine digestive system kidney and skin excretory system nerves spinal cord nervous system now you know that brain is the part of what it is the part of nervous system so the answer is d 
nerves and spinal cord. So the brain, nerves, spinal cord make up the nervous system. The next one is the dash is the thinking part of brain. And the correct answer is which is the thinking part of the brain children? The cerebrum is thinking part of brain. Cerebellum is responsible for balancing and movement. And brain stem is responsible for involuntary actions. Now the next one is the sensation of pain is carried from the skin to the brain by dash nerves. Now we know that skin is also a right that is also a sense organ. So the sensation of pain is carried from the skin to the brain by it should be what is the answer children sensory nerves motor nerves or mixed nerves the answer is a sensory nerves because sensory nerves carry messages from the sense organs to the brain and our skin is also a sense organ right the portion of the eye that has cells sensitive to light and color is the options are retina lens optic nerve or iris the answer is which part of brain has the cells sensitive to light and color the answer is a retina because lens help to focus the image optic nerves carry messages from the eye to the brain about the image formed right so the answer is a retina the fifth one is vibrations are converted to signals in the dash ear and sent to the brain which helps us to identify sound the options are external ear middle ear internal ear and what is the answer children the answer is C, internal ear. The external ear works like a cone. It collects the sounds. Then the sound goes through the three bones of the middle ear and then it reaches the internal ear. And here the vibrations are converted into the signals. So the answer is C, internal ear. In the internal ear, Vibrations are converted to signals. Now the next question is match the column. The option C in this question children on the left hand side we have few words which we have to match with the sentences given on the right hand side. Now see the first one cerebrum it will match with E thinking. Cerebellum matches with what children? Balance and movement. Then brainstem involuntary actions. Then pupil light enters the eye through it. Right? Then eardrum drum vibrates when sound falls on it. Let us have a look at the answers once again. So you can note down the answers. So the first one is E. Second is D. Third is B. Fourth is C. And fifth one is A. Let us see the next question. Unscramble the letters to form words. Then place them in the correct boxes. Now, first one is in A, what will come children? Con control center. So that will be brain. And the next one is muscle. The next one, sensory nerve, that is C. Transmit signals to control center and control center is what? Brain. Then D is motor nerves. Transmit messages from control center. Sixth one is 
spinal cord then now f one is carries out actions that is sense organs sixth one is what sense organs let us see the answers brain a brain b muscles c sensory nerves d motor nerve e spinal cord and f sense organs now next question is identify the given figures this first picture the options are inside the ear inside the eye ear tongue and brain so what is this picture of children this picture is of b ear this is the picture of ear now let us see the next picture the options are nervous system inside the eye ear or tongue and the correct answer is b inside the eye this is the picture of the options are heart brain eye and ear so the answer is b brain and we have discussed this so many times still this is cerebrum this is cerebellum and this is brain stem right now the next picture is this is the picture of nervous system circulatory system respiratory system or muscular system the answer is a nervous system so i hope you enjoyed solving questions of lesson number 8 we are going to end this session here sairam